Hello Libra! Welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Libra, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Libra. Let's see. What do we have for you? Show me important messages for Libra, please. Show me more. Show me more for Libra. What Libra needs to know regarding this situation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Libra. Show me one more for Libra, please. So we have, so Libra, we might be connecting with your twin flame because this person's energy here is twin flame. We have judgment. We On your side, we have respect, mutual energy assumption, overall energy, third party. A lot, there's a lot going on here. It It's complicated, right? So what I feel here, Libra, is based on those cards, is that we are connecting with someone who might be your twin flame, someone here with whom you share very strong soul connection. This is someone who wants to resurrect something with you, with this judgment card. Your energy is energy of respect. I feel that there is something about you. Dem it's like you are demanding from this person respect or maybe they treated um, this connection in a certain way and you found it a little bit, a little bit, you found it disrespectful. It's like, yeah, disrespectful. Um, it's like there is something about the decency and integrity. And I feel that this person uh, at the times they did something and it, would it, and it was lacking decency and, and, and uh, integrity. We have at the bottom of the deck, we have a third party. It might be a case that this person indeed put you in a third party situation. And that's why you feel that, you know, you demand respect, you demand this person to come forward in a right way. And um, you are annoyed with this whole situation. Assumption, it's, it's a mutual energy. For some of you, I'm getting very strongly that you are assuming for a long time that something like this might be happening with this third party energy. And when you were confronting this person, this person was um, was making very, very strange comments. It's like, what are you talking about? You're assuming your, your imagination is r running really, really high. And it's like, I feel that you knew exactly what you were talking about. But this person didn't, of course, wanted to admit this. Assumption, this card, when it comes to this person's energy, this is someone who is assuming that, you know, it might be quite difficult for them to resurrect something with regards to this connection because firstly, they need to provide you with some sort of explanation. They need to act with integrity. It's complicated. This is a complex read. Capricorn had very, very complex read as well. Very complex situation and energy. Okay, Libra, let's see. Show me this person's feelings and energy towards Libra uh, and this connection, please. We have Hierophant. You may be dealing with Taurus. We have chariots, 
page of souls this is someone who is very interested in you they are spying on you this is someone who wants to chase you the lovers okay so they do want to resurrect something with you meaning connection relationship oh my gosh look at that we have a king of pentacles and ten of cups wow this is someone who wants to be with you eight of wands mm, yeah you might be dealing with taurus gemini i have also cancerian energy so far in this reading for you libra this person is spying on you if you have um social media they are you know following your activity on social media what you're liking what you're posting if you block this person they are still you know somehow they are still um following your activity this is someone who's very curious about you what's going on in your life if you don't have so if you if you don't have social media uh, this person is wondering it's wondering you know again what you're up to if you have like a common friends they are trying to ask people about you but it's not like in a very obvious manner you know maybe there is a conversation and this person is kind of mentioning you and and by doing that they trying to uh, figure out what's going on and the reason is because they 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 want with the lovers king of pentacles and ten of cups they want stable relationship with you they want to be with you eight of wands they're going to send you a message they're going to reach out they're going to text you but eight of wands is this energy of being in touch this is someone who wants to be in touch with you they will take action because this is a very action orientated card for some of you uh, th there is a distance between physical distance between the two of you with the chariot and the eight of wands I'm seeing that this person might be my their background might be very traditional Libra with, with the Hierophant or oh, they are very traditional they need to be more open-minded or something like this You might be dealing here with someone who, who um, maybe, you know, they are from a different tradition or they see things in a different way, more traditional. There is something about this person's family background that it's very traditional, okay? So please take it how it resonates. But you have someone who wants to chase you with this, with this chariot this is a chaser card yeah they are thinking about you with the king of pentacles they want to kind of bring some offer it's like this person wants to come across that you can mm, rely on them because when the king of pentacles is nicely aspected and this king of pentacles here is nicely aspected with the lovers and the ten of cups that can indicate someone who is very stable who uh, wants to create more stability security who is loyal and re reliable okay and i feel this person here wants to come across that way eight of wands you can expect action from this person if there is no contact situation or they will reach out oh that's for sure that's their overall energy this is what they are focusing on they want to be in touch with you and with the chariot and the eight of once there might be a physical distance between the two of you maybe they are from a different country even this person show me libra's energy and feelings towards this person please we have four of pentacles we have the hanged man that's a passive energy mm -hmm. you might be dealing with Pisces show me more please 
Eight of Swords, very passive energy from your side. You are holding back. You are keeping your cards very close to your chest. You are very selective with your energy here, Libra, with the Four of Pentacles, especially. Show me more, please, for Libra. Could you show me? Could you please show me? Aha, uh -huh, look what's showing up. Queen of Wands. Because of Queen of Wands. Okay. Could you please show me Libra's energy and feelings towards this connection? The Fool. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. You might be dealing with Aquarius, Aries energy. I have as well. So you might be dealing with Aquarius or Aries. Okay. Yeah. We have a Four of Pentacles, the Hanged Man and Eight of Swords. This is very passive energy. And I feel that you withdraw your energy. You've kind of... Um, and there is a reason why we have three cards indicating that you might feel that your hands are tied. There is... a uh, and with the hangman, it's like you are changing your perspective regarding this whole situation. And it is all because of this Queen of Wands. For some of you, this is indeed because Queen of Wands in the love readings represents third party, that energy. And it's like a double confirmation. For some of you, this third party might indeed indicate that this person was uh, giving to another situation, meaning they started to entertain someone else. Or third party here in this context, in this reading, can indicate that this person might be for some time prioritizing, uh, for instance, their career, um, money, close related environment, meaning family, relatives, friendships, lifestyle, uh, habits. It can be essentially anything regarding third party it doesn't have to be a person it can be of course but it can also be um, something that this person was prioritizing over you over this connection and based on their energy i'm seeing here someone who might be hugely connected with uh, with their roots with tradition and um, i'm seeing you actually libra um, kind of thinking about the situation more and more and you might be feeling that if this is someone who is coming from very traditional household uh, that's absolutely fine but the thing is that you might not agree with everything that this person might have expect from you with regards to that tradition that they are trying to follow or that they are kind of uh, put in a situation by their relatives or family that they should follow. You know what I mean? Something like this. And I feel that um, you've kind of... Um, <laughs> with the Four of Pentacles, it's like, I know what I want. I don't want to... Uh, it's like you don't want to compromise with this. And with the hangman, I feel that you tried to look at the situation from a different perspective. But every time when you were trying to kind of find uh, or, you know, be very open minded about this, uh, you were always kind of um, that the, the outcome was the same, meaning, well, I can't I can't let it do it. You know, I can't I can't do it with the eight of swords. And I feel this is like a, it's. And I feel because this is that you don't share the same vision with regards to connections or relationship as this person. It's just you are not on the same page. And with the Eight of Swords, you feel that your hands are tied. And it's something that you don't want to, I feel something like give up. You don't want to, maybe you don't want to give up on your independence. Or you don't want to, you just simply disagree with certain things. And that's what I was getting, that this person needs to be more open-minded. And the cause of that energy might be this third party, which, for instance, can be a tradition 
or it can be this person's uh, clo the close closest related environment okay and it might you know it doesn't change the fact that you might have feelings for this individual of the ace of cups but with the five of pentacles you've kind of you know it's like this person doesn't understand how you feel they don't understand how you feel and you have someone here who wants to be with you but it's like this person doesn't want to resign from certain uh, um, traditions or values that something to do with tradition and and the thing is that that's fine you know but i feel that you are not on the same page you want something else and please take it how it resonates it's like this person doesn't understand where you're coming from your feelings with the ace of cups i also feel very strongly here that uh, libra that that you will soon meet a new person with the full some sort of new energy with the ace of cups and the full it's showing up meaning someone new it's coming to your life and there is very interesting about this respect because i feel that when i when i have more cards now i can kind of draw a conclusion and you might resonate with this or may not please take it how it resonates for you but I feel it's like this person, you might be coming from the place, you don't see my point of view, therefore it's like there is a lack of respect for my, uh, what I want. It's like you know what you want and you want this connection to be structured in a certain way, but it's like you are not respecting what I want. You don't want, I mean, you might be getting that feeling because we have this energy of respect. For some of you, it might be indeed the case that you withdraw completely your energy because this person uh, puts you in a third party situation, meaning they started to entertain someone else. They met someone unexpectedly and they left you, you know, in the cult with the five of pentacles, with the four. <laughs> but the thing is that this person here wants to be with you in a relationship. They want to resurrect this connection. But um, I feel that if this person will come forward, if you resonate with the first message, there's uh, something about respect and kind of, you know, something about um, values, tradition, that kind of thing. I feel that if this person was more flexible and if they kind of see your point of view, they, if they were more adaptable and if they kind of um, make, a, make, if they decided to make an effort and see where you're coming from and actually, you know, compromise, I feel that you would, you would actually be more keen to uh, give this person a, a chance with the Ace of Cups and the Four. Or to give this connection, you know, yes, another chance, new beginning. You can expect this person to reach out to you I feel that deeply inside you've been missing them because you know they they are very into you here Libra but it's like your energy is mm, I can't agree to that that's what I am getting very strongly that in this case that third party is is yeah it's 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 the whole structure of of relationship and other people being involved in it and holding certain influence over this individual the thing is that you have someone who loves you but um i feel that you know you won't agree for something uh, that you just simply is not in align with your with your views i feel you are very strong-minded here libra uh, cross watcher of course the, the roles can be re reverse okay but uh, it's like you know exactly what you want let's see show me the outcome Nine of Pentacles, 
Ace of Swords and the Sun. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Uh, you might be dealing with Leo, Libra. I'm seeing this, yes, you see the, the, the bonding energy is Ace of Swords, which indicates a heart to heart honest conversation between two people. This is a triumph of truth and clarity. Something, there will be a communication between the two of you. This person will reach out. And it feels like an honest conversation will take place. We have on your side the sun, so something here will make you very happy. You know, very happy. You're coming, it's like your outcome here is very positive. I feel that in general, the fact that this person will reach out and try to kind of maybe, you know, uh, put an effort and kind of uh, try to find a common ground with you. It doesn't mean that they will, but they, it's like they will try, if it will make you very happy. Because I see you Libra being quite fair, you know? I feel you are being very, very fair regarding this whole situation. And I feel that you, if you resonate with this message regarding tradition, I feel that you know where this person is coming from. You understand it. But it's, you know, you would like this person to also uh, understand your point of view or, and where you're coming from. You want them to be more flexible. And they are coming here with the energy of Nine of Pentacles. I feel that this person will, oh my gosh, they will shower you with compliments. <laughs> they will say that you are just, you look so beautiful, that you are so handsome, you're so attractive. Um, this is someone whose attention will be focused on you, but uh, they are coming with this mindset, with the nine of pentacles. I don't, it's like they, they will try to, um, deflect it's like I don't know if it's the right word but it's like uh, they will try to take attention out of this major issue that this connection might be uh, facing and they will try to kind of focus on you you know because I'm getting that with the four of cups this is someone who um, still sees certain things in a certain way and I'm getting that, yes, there will be an honest conversation, heart to heart, and the subject will be discussed. Um, and I feel that something here will make you very happy with the sun. But overall energy with the Four of Cups, I'm getting that both of you don't want to change your stand or your views here. And I feel that you have a perfect reason for that. And I, I'm getting also that you, you kind of understand where this person is coming from. But Four of Cups, it's mm, this energy of, no, I, I don't, I, it's like, I feel that at some point, I don't know, it, just, it's so, it's, it's, it's complicated. I mean, I see you spending a good time with this person and maybe you decided to be friends at the end of the day and that's why we have the sun energy that you know, oh, things are clear now, you know, certain things came into light and it's like we can all, you know, just breathe, there is no tension, everything is just explained, um, you know, this person just, you know, they believe in a certain things, they want a certain relationship, a structure of the relationship to be that way. You know, you kind of disagree with this, but kind of understand where they're coming from. And, you know, maybe you'll decide that, you know, let's be friends because I care about you a lot. Uh, this person here has strong feelings for you. But as an overall energy with the Four of Cups, there is this kind of, this is a cut of rejection. And I feel that this person will try very hard to change your mind. They will try it very, very hard because they are coming with the lovers, with the Ten of Cups. They want a higher level of commitment. You do have feelings for them. 
but um, and they will make more looking at the energy they come in with this twin flame energy you know and with the judgment it's like they want to resurrect something with you so they will automatically come they are in a energetically put in that position that they will make more effort here and I feel that they are coming with an offer of love but I don't see you I can you know <sighs> this is for collective okay and I feel that for majority of you there is something that still you disagree with this person but it's not like I feel that you were agitated or you might be still a little bit annoyed if that's the case uh, this feeling will go away and you will make you know amends this person will make amends with you that's why we have the sun energy on your side but overall I feel that you still kind of see the situation as something that you that it's not in alliance with your feelings with your views and that's why we have this energy of rejection it's like yeah, you know, I, I care a lot about you. I, I like you a lot. You know that. Let's be friends. But when, if, if it comes to the relationship with the Four of Pentacles, I feel that you still there is this kind of situation where you, uh, you... I feel that you deeply inside can't agree with that. Your heart doesn't let you. And equally, you know, I feel that, you know, with this Ace of Cups, which is on your side, I feel that you will present your point of view and you will kind of also um, give this person opportunity or will present, you know, your, your side in a certain way. But I see them also kind of not meeting you halfway with this Four of Cups. For some of you, Libra, if you want reconciliation with this person, I'm seeing that indeed there will be a reconciliation either way, you know. And if you want to be with this person, I can see this happening. But that's the thing, if you want to be with this person. However, I feel that you're dealing here with someone who has a very traditional mindset or something, there's something about tradition that they want to follow. And if if you want to be with them because it's obvious that they want to be with you Libra uh, I'm getting very strongly that you will have to adapt that you have that you will have to be the one to kind of accept uh, certain things here okay so it truly depends on you but I can see that something here will make you happy. So for some of you, if you want to be with this person, absolutely, there, is an, there will be an opportunity because that's what they truly want. The conversation will take place and this conversation will make you happy. And if you want to be with this person, there is an opportunity. There will be an opportunity to be with this person. But it's like on, the, on their terms, okay? For some of you, I can see that you still kind of feel that, mm, I don't know, I'm getting that. I am seeing both of you um, being on good terms, but when it comes to relationship, I feel that you might be seeing this situation that mm, I don't know if that uh, can work or something like this. Because for some of you, I feel very strongly that there is something that you are disagreeing. You are not on the same page. You don't see uh, this. Some, you know, you don't see this uh, the same way as this person. So please take it how it resonates. Nevertheless, I can tell you here that this person has feelings for you. They want to be with you. They want to be in a higher level of commitment. But I don't see them trying to compromise. That's the thing. I'm trying, I'm seeing them trying to convince you that both of you should be together. Nevertheless, I see a, be 
a very pleasant conversation, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You're receiving so many compliments here, Libra, and spending a very nice time with this individual. So if things has been quite challenging between the two of you, I can see that this connection uh, will gain more tranquility, happiness, joy, and I see both of you making amends with each other. Libra, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Libra, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.